What's good, everybody? They're on the move. So, just had a little bit I wanted to say on this whole caravan situation. Um, illegal immigration, it's a pretty big issue, obviously. But it's been blown way out of proportion ever since the very first day that Trump... And that's what this is really about. But it's the very first day that he even announced for uh, his presidency. Um, it all started off on a lie. Like, right when he comes down the escalator and everything, I'm running for president of and all that stuff that he said. Immediately, everybody's like, oh, he just called all Mexicans rapists and, and criminals. And no, 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 he didn't. That's a lie. It's a lie that keeps getting repeated by the news media, the left wing news media. It's a lie that keeps getting repeated by left wing politicians. He didn't say anything racist. He didn't say all Mexicans were rapists and criminals and all that other type of stuff. Is he a racist in his heart? I don't know. I don't care. But there hasn't been any the um, real examples of him being racist yet. And everybody that says that there are are idiots or liars or both. That being said, as far as the caravan goes, there's thousands of them. And once they get to this border, if they all arrive like at the same time instead of like in little increments, it's going to be a huge shit show. And I'm going to be watching with some popcorn. But the just a few things I wanted to touch on is that, one, this country, um, we, we have no obligation to let anybody in that's illegal. Um, or even legally. We have no obligation to let anybody in from any country. If this was Japan, if this was China, if this was, you know... Germany before Psycho Merkel started doing all that that um, letting millions of migrants in type of shit. Uh, Poland, Sweden, Norway, wherever, wherever on the planet, any other country. I mean, you 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 go there and you go there illegally from America, they're gonna arrest your ass. So I mean, it's 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 the same thing here. You can't just walk in here or climb in here and just be like, okay. Give me a job and pay me. No. Um, back in one of my previous jobs, I, I have a buddy, a real good buddy that used to work with me back in one of my previous jobs. He's Nicaraguan. Uh, his family um, is from Nicaragua, and he was born here. But he was uh, basically saying like the same type of stuff that all of these um, left-wing uh, news commentators and politicians are saying. And again, this ain't no bash the left channel or anything like that, but this is an exclusively left wing thing, um, some exclusive left wing idiocy. Uh, but I'm not calling my buddy an idiot. He was just being compassionate or whatever. But the, the, these uh, politicians and, and commentators are taking it to the next level of idiocy and lying and just just dumbassery. But basically, he was saying what they say is like, oh, they're just looking for a better opportunity. You know, they're looking for, you know, work so they can send money back to their families. And I'm just like, yeah, but you realize that they're going to be paid shit when they get here. Right. And they're going to live like pretty miserable lives like they most likely they're going to be, you know, maybe a little bit of a better situation than they were in their home country. But they're still going to always be looking over their shoulder and they're going to get paid shit and they're not going to really be able to take advantage of the opportunities that this country offers, you know? And I said that they're basically hurting like people that are already here, whether they were born here or they uh, migrated here legally. Um, because all these jobs that all these uh, the left-wing commentators and politicians keep saying that Americans don't want to work, you know, they don't want to work them because the pay is shit. You don't want to work for like five, six dollars an hour, but you know who will? An illegal immigrant where the currency here is like a hundred times more valuable than the currency in their home country. But here's the thing, they're getting paid shit and they're being worked like more than eight hours, like 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day, sometimes in the hot sun, you know, on like under the table construction jobs, under the table, you know, picking shit out of the garden like they're on the plantation, you know, like like my ancestors back in the day. It's shit work. And they're being abused in this work, you know, and, and, and a lot of them are malnourished and all this other type of stuff. 
And all these left wing people keep saying that they're being compassionate when they want to let them come in here, you know, in all these sanctuary cities and sanctuary states and shit. But basically, no, they just want a virtue signal and say, look, we care about them. We want to let them in. And then once they're in and they're working all these shit jobs and, and, and getting sick and all this other type of stuff, what, 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 what do they do? They ignore them because they're not working anywhere near where these people are in the big cities. No, they're working in, in the rural areas you know and on the farms and on and on all this other type of stuff and they 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 just it's like out of sight out of mind now what i was saying to my buddy was is that if we just stop the illegal immigration you know stop letting the men stop this catch and release shit stop the fucking sanctuary city shit and force these corporations to uh hire people that are here legally then they would have to raise their wages because you can't pay americans like that and treat them like that um because they're not going to be desperate for that job. So if they're not desperate for that job, then they're going to they're still going to need somebody to do that job. So what are they going to do? They're going to raise the pay of the job so the people that live here legally um will take it. You understand? But so I mean it's not and it's not like these people that don't do the job for that low of pay don't want aren't aren't willing or are too lazy, you know, too much of a lazy you know pampered american to do the job it's just that why take on a job where you're going to be working like insane hours and getting paid shit and you're still not able to make ends meet you know so and this isn't like a corporation job where you can start low and then transfer and move up and all this other type of stuff no this is like you're just the job that you get you're right there for the rest of your life no Okay, that that's not Americans know that they don't have to accept that. They can accept better pay, they can expect better conditions, but illegal immigrants they'll just take whatever. So they're hurting themselves and they're hurting Americans. And when I told my buddy that he was like, "Oh yeah, you know what? That that makes sense. Yeah, yeah fuck illegal immigration." <laughs> I mean, once you sit them down and explain it to them, they're just like, "Yeah, that makes sense. Let's 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 stop um, creating situations for people to be exploited." You know, but you have these. Um, it, it always comes down to this. Like once you pin them down and they and, and explain to to these left wing politicians and left wing commentators who have a narrative and an ideology that they want to push, you see their true colors. Because once you pin them down, they always go back to, oh, they're just looking for better opportunities. And you're like, so the fuck that got to do with me? Like now, seeking asylum is one thing. If you're like in a torn up country where a genocide is happening like the Sudan or, or or Rwanda back in the day probably still going on today all this other type of stuff and all these fucked up countries where people are literally being genocided okay you're trying to escape that okay yeah okay apply for asylum and, and try and get out of that but these people started off in these central countries right central American countries they were lied to by somebody people on the left wing say that it's a a Trump um, administration stunt and people on the right say that it's like a NGO George Soros type of stunt or whatever I think it's the NGO thing maybe not George Soros but there are people down there that have been following the caravan reporters um, unbiased reporters and they've been saying that these people are being lied to when they're being told to you know gather up and come to the American border they're thinking that they're just going to get there and then they're getting in that's why a few hundred of them are here right now. And when they got here and they weren't able to just, they weren't just let in, what did they do? They tried to jump the fucking, the, the border. Now, thankfully they were caught, but all these people saying that, oh, these people aren't trying to do anything bad. They're not trying to do anything illegal. They're just trying to follow the process and blah, blah, blah. You're full of shit. They're doing some real disgusting shit because they're being told strategies. They're being, again, lied to. That's why you have... Like it's mostly it's like 80 or 90 percent young men because they're trying to get a job. There's this bug that's like trying to attack me, but they're trying to uh, get a job to send money back to their families and stuff. So it's mostly economic migrants. That's what it is. Just like it was in Europe when they lied and said that they were mostly refugees. No, they're economic migrants just trying to move to a better paying country, a better, a more prosperous country. But they're being told to strategize and take all the little the little amount of women and children that they got and arrange them in the front of the caravan so for the cameras, for one thing, and so no physical force is used to stop them. 
But when they need to use physical force, oh, they use it. They get the women and children out of the way. And then you've seen it on the news where they're breaking down, they were breaking down the borders of all these Central American countries. Um, I think they even broke down the Mex Mexican southern border when they were moving up towards America. And everybody just got out their way. But you, you watch CNN, you watch MSNBC, you watch all these left-wing news commentators, and they're like, oh, they're just peaceful um, refugees seeking asylum, and, and look at all the women and children. They're just looking for better opportunities. We can't hurt these kids. And it's just like when Trump wanted to separate kids from their parents and stuff. They're, they're, they're liars. They have a narrative and an ideology they want to push, and they want votes. Just in the uh, midterm elections in Florida and Georgia, they have found the legal... Um, they had found ballots from illegal immigrants. And the left-wing people were arguing to keep those shits and have them count. In California, it's not about like electing a politician, but you have um, people um, where they just made it, or they're trying to make it legal for illegal immigrants to vote on uh, school board decisions. It, I mean, it's, they, they're, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. Like, the right-wing people are always saying, like, you just want illegal immigrants because you want votes. They're like, no, 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 you're just a racist and blah, blah, blah. Okay, they want votes. They want votes. All right? They want votes. Um, and that's why you have a lot of uh, legal immigrants, Hispanics, who are very anti-illegal immigration. Because they got here the right way, and now they see these guys coming in, and they're doing exactly what I said. They're hurting the people that already live here by taking jobs, and they're committing crime. Now, the majority of them don't commit crime. But here's another talking point from the left wing that all oh, illegal immigrants commit less crime than people than than Americans that are born here. OK, there, there are a shit ton more Americans here than there are illegal immigrants. So obviously there's going to be more crimes committed by Americans than illegal immigrants. And even if you say like per capita, or, you know, where it's like, oh, illegal immigrants are just like more careful because they don't want to be deported. OK, that's fine. But here's the thing. Every single crime that's committed by an illegal immigrant is one that could have been prevented by not having that illegal immigrant here. So everybody that gets killed, everybody that gets hurt, everybody that gets robbed. That's on you fuckers for continuously advocating to not deport them when they get caught by ICE, like abolish ICE. About Abolish ICE. ICE was made by Bush. It's completely useless. Okay, you're a fucking idiot when you say that because ICE used to be the INS and that was before Bush. But even if it was just created by Bush, their primary job is to round up illegal immigrants and deport them from the country. That's a good thing. And no, I don't care if they haven't like committed a crime or anything like that. They committed a crime by crossing the border illegally. Maybe that's not your view, but you can go fuck yourself because that's the law. That's what a border is. That's what a country is. You can't just go into a country and then just be like, oh, okay, give me the benefits, give me a job, give me everything I want. That's not the way it works, all right? That's the way that left-wing people are trying to make it work, but that's not the way that it works, all right? So you guys lose on every single front. That's why when people poll this type of shit, they're like, yeah, no, we need a, we need a border. We don't want to abolish the people that are uh, responsible for getting illegal immigrants and kicking them out of the country. We don't want to abolish ICE. You people are fucking idiots who say that shit. You are fucking idiots. Uh, if there's corruption within ICE, where they're doing like 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 inhumane shit to uh, illegal immigrants, okay, handle it. Handle that that certain uh, ICE agent or that certain department uh, in whatever state. Handle it. Fucking fire them. Put them in jail. Or prosecute them. Whatever you need. To. That's the way. That's that's the law. That's the way our justice system works. But we're not going to abolish the entire fucking department just because you idiots want to just have illegal I immigrants come in and just be able to come in whatever they want and, and stay and, 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 and uh, anchor themselves to the country by having kids. That's another stupid thing. If you're, not, if you're an illegal alien from another country and you get in here and then you have a kid, that kid shouldn't just automatically be an American. That's fucking retarded. That's fucking retarded. All right, because that's that's anyway, that, that I, there's there's no other way to explain that. That's just fucking stupid. Like the majority of the left wing narrative on illegal immigration is just sounds like infant little little baby level stupidity. And and, and it just always bewilders me how they, they 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 just think that they can just shut everybody down by just screaming racist in their face or. Or, or, or stuff like that. Like, they're just looking for better opportunities. Okay, get the better opportunities the right way. Apply for legal immigration. Come in legally. 
and you ain't gonna have no problem. But you, you come in illegally, then you can expect to be deported because that's the law. I mean, there ain't no other way to, to say it. So, no, the people who are against illegal aliens are not racist. Um, and they're, they're not in the wrong when they say that these people in this caravan shouldn't be let in. Just the simple fact that I see this caravan coming and they're breaking through gates and everything like that. And they're marching towards the southern border demanding to be let in. Just from seeing that, I'm just like, fuck all of them. I don't give a damn. The, the, all of them. Just, just turn them around and kick them the fuck back to wherever the hell they came from. Because if they're going to be like that, they don't even have any damn respect for the, the laws of the land. They're, they're fucking burning the American flag in the caravan. They're waving the flag of their home country. But that's where you're trying to escape from. So what, what, what you waving that flag for if you if you uh, a refugee trying to escape that shit, you know? And they're just being like, yeah, we're going to get here. We're going to come. No, fuck you. Get the fuck out of my house. My country, my house, you know? You ain't got no fucking right to just come in here. But anyways... Those are just a few points that I wanted to touch on about this whole caravan situation. Longer video, and I didn't say it was going to be a quick one, so I'm doing good. But, yeah, um, don't, let it, don't let anybody ever, like, try and run a narrative on you where when you say that you're against illegal immigration, that you're a racist or whatever. If you call them illegal alien, they're trying to make that be a racist term. There was just this thing where they were trying to, uh, in a college, and that, that, that's where this shit is going down. They're indoctrinating kids. In college and high school and now they're trying to do it in in grades even before high school indoctrinate kids into this left-wing narrative where it's just like white man bad and and all all immigrants are even if they're illegal they're just all migrants they're just all migrants there's nothing wrong they should just walk in and be able to stay in no borders no no nothing like don't ever let them say when you say that that's wrong that you're a racist or you're hateful or anything like that just look them in the face and explain them Sit them down, explain to them why, <laughs> why we have a border, you know, and if, and if, and if they, they don't want to accept that, then fuck you. That's all you got to do. Fuck you and, and move on about your business because they're stupid and make sure that they never get any type of political power because this is what they're going to do with it. This is what they're going to do with it. All right. They, 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 the, all the shit that's happening in Europe right now where you have people literally fleeing their home countries like Jewish people fleeing their home countries because all of these um, migrants from the Middle East are coming in and they're not refugees, they're just fucking migrants, economic migrants coming in and they're setting up all these ghettos and boroughs and no-go zones and shit like that. They they're, got, literally got people fleeing their own country, their own home country to get away from that. That, 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 that can't happen here. All right, whether you like Trump or not, even before Trump, you had people saying, like, yeah, we need to defect, uh, protect the border. Obama, Clinton, um, John Kerry even, like, like Joe Biden, I believe, creepy-ass Joe Biden. Everybody was saying that up until now. Why? Because it's a political advantage that they got. They can be like, oh, we could just say that he's racist and then we'll get more left-wing votes. Like, he's separating kids from their parents. No, the fuck he what? That was the Border Patrol doing that. And the reason they were doing it is because they can't lock the kids up with their parents, okay? Obama started that shit, or it might have even been before Obama, but it was going on during Obama's administration because those pictures circulating with the kids in the cages, that was from 2014. And when they told him to stop that shit, he did. And he's like, okay, we'll just have them, the kids be in a facility and we'll have the, uh, the parents be the only ones in the cages. Because you can't fucking arrest a kid. The kid didn't do nothing wrong. It's the dumbass parents' fault for dragging them all the way up here. But anyway, that's all I had on that for now. So phew, don't be ashamed of your border. Peace.